You may not know it, but there are two seasons to fundraising, fall and spring. Typically, when the kids go back to school in the fall, the adults have more time for getting involved in fundraisers. That is up until the holiday season. Then after New Year's, when the first quarter budgets kick in, the fundraising season starts up again and lasts through spring until school gets out for summer. I would know a little bit about this. I absolutely love emceeing charity fundraisers. I typically average emceeing about 80 to 100 fundraisers a year. So to get you two into the spirit of the fall fundraising season, tonight's Our Issues Tampa Bay is highlighting several events that you too should get involved with. A local family is known for making a very positive difference in our community. They donate school supplies to teachers, work with the Hillsborough Sheriff's Office to deliver gifts to needy families, and for more than a decade now they've raised millions of dollars for their foundation at the All-Star Charity Gala. The DeBartolo family, they truly believe in giving back to their community and caring for others. And they've got a few fundraisers coming up this fall that you too may want to get involved with. James Judge and Stephen Hickey join us now with more gentlemen. Thank Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having us. All right, let's start with your party happening at Ricky V's. You're the managing partner at uh, Eddie V's here in Tampa Bay. Tell us about the party coming up. So Eddie V's company wide has a, an initiative to partner with a charity sometime during summer on a Thursday night and uh, throw white hot summer nights. So this can be a cocktail party, it can be a wine dinner. We have chose to do both because Tampa is a uh, great support on, on charities, especially with a, a foundation like the Duarte Foundation. So uh, we're very excited. It's going to be Thursday, August 21st. Right. Uh, it starts at 630. Mm -hmm. There'll be a kind of a little local celebrity meet and greet for an hour, hour and a half. And then we'll move to a four course uh, wine dinner in, mm -hmm. the, in the dining room. And what will that entail? What type of food were they? I'm sure steak. That's one of your Absolutely. Your well, seafood. We're, we're prime seafood. Okay. So some phenomenal seafood. Uh, there will be some steaks uh, and all white wine pairings. And they'll be um, kind of paired with a master sommelier, uh, Andrew, who's a local um, wagon guy. So oh, very excited for him. All right. And one rule for the night, besides have a good time, they must wear. Wear white. Wear Absolutely. White. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I didn't know that uh, Eddie V's did this company wide. This is not just here in Tampa correct? No, not at all. There's 15 Eddie V's location. There's nine of them that are participating this year. And again, different times of the summer. Uh, I've chosen uh, this this Thursday, the, the 21st, which is great for us, uh, mm -hmm. you know, between Tampa Bay Bucks games and the Rays games, you know, trying to make <laughs> it so everyone can attend. So, uh, and, and it's great. I mean, everyone does uh, very successful. Uh, they, mm -hmm. you know, each pick a different charity in every market. So uh, mm -hmm. it's been a great initiative for the last I couple of years. I think that's great to see Eddie V's get giving back into the community and partnering up with the DeBarlos. That's just fantastic. So good for you. Thank well, you, thank we you. hope to see everybody there on the 21st. All right, let's talk about your events that you've got coming up. Two in particular, let's highlight. Sure. So Frankie's Friends. Frankie's Friends is a charity that goes to help uh, families who wouldn't be able to afford life-saving or specialty emergency care for their pets. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's it's all. I mean, besides the amazing people in the Tampa area, it also has a big deal to do with the DeBartolos, um, the DeBartolo mm -hmm. Family Foundation, as well as uh, Mr. and Mrs. DeBartolo, and then Lisa being the chairperson. They help us put on. A all everything that we do, the, the the charity's actually named after their first uh, one of their dogs, mm -hmm. um, Frankie. So uh, so the first event that we have coming up is actually uh, the Denim and Diamond Collar. It's going to be the first time that we're going to be in Pinellas County. Um, it's going to be taking place in St. Petersburg at Nova 535. Mm -hmm. um, that event is actually going to be September 18th, and tickets are going to go on sale July 23rd. So if people want to get them, they can go online, frankiesfriends.com, and they're only $75 a person. That includes. Uh, plenty of food from a bunch of different uh, Pinellas County restaurants, mm -hmm. um, and additionally, of course, open bar, okay. which some people may like. <laughs> um, then we've got the next event coming up, which is actually our biggest event of the year. It's uh, the fourth annual uh, Frankie's Friends Unleashed for Hope, and that is called La Tropicana this year. Um, it's going to be at Eight Count Studios at the Rialta Theater, mm -hmm. and this event is actually a 1950s Cuban-themed event. There's going to be a band coming up from Miami, and again, it's going to have um, 
some food provided from a bunch of different amazing Tampa restaurants wow. as usual. Uh, and then it also will have live auction, charity auction, uh, some silent auction stuff, raffles, games. And last year, this event alone was able to raise $92,500 to help local Tampa Bay families uh, and their pets, you know, whenever there's an emergency or especially a treatment that comes up. Because not every, veterinary care, we all know, is, is somewhat expensive at times. So not every family can afford to uh, have their loved ones, their pets taken care of. That's where you guys step in, correct? Absolutely, mm -hmm. and, and that's what Frankie's Friends is really there for. Mm -hmm. um, when a family's forced to, to make a difficult decision and the dog or cat could potentially be saved and mm -hmm. they can't do it because of funding, um, that's where Frankie's Friends comes in to help because we'd hate for some, to see somebody have to put their pet to sleep that they love when there are funds available out there, you know, even in, in a diff difficult financial time for them, right. we can step forward and help out. Right, when was this charity started? The charity was founded in 1999, I believe. Mm -hmm. I have to double check that. Right. But, but it's been a while. They've been around. It has. It's been a while. Um, it was started, I believe, in 1999. Mm -hmm. um, and then that was by Florida Veterinary Specialist founder, Dr. Neil Shaw. He started the charity. Okay. Um, over the history they've raised and were able to bring several million dollars to help pets. Wow. Um, it's just tremendous. And it's grown. But the good thing about it is that while it has grown to other parts of the country, mm -hmm. in each area that those funds are donated to, those funds stay locally. So the funds that get brought into the Tampa area will stay and go to Tampa area families. Oh, wow. But you're also in other states. Correct. It is growing. So That's fantastic. Wow. Well, gentlemen, we wish you both a lot of luck with your fundraisers. Anything in particular you want to tell us in connection to the DeBartolos and what they mean to you and what a great family they are? I think there are, uh, you can see uh, as far as local and why we chose this local charity, because you just, you see the funds, you see how much they really give. Mm -hmm. um, so, and they're special, and as well as support the restaurant. So, you know, for us to support a, a local restaurant, I'm going to support a local, you know, charity as much as I can and, and see those funds stay local and give, you know, back. It's important. They, they just, they have huge hearts. They've helped us out over and over and over. And every time Mr. and Mrs. DeBartolo comes in, they, they always just try to go above and beyond to help out even more. And it's great. Um, if we have time, I can tell you a quick story about, sure. about a, a, just two brief stories. We had one couple that, um, that needed our assistance. They were, uh, the, the gentleman was asleep in his apartment, newlywed couple and firefighters knocked down the door of the apartment buildings on fire and he had to get out. He was asleep on the sofa, get, runs outside. And um, as this building's burning on the ground, he realizes his cats are inside. Mm -hmm. They just lose everything. everything. All their worldly possessions go in this fire, except for the cats that they were able to get brought up by a couple of the firefighters. Um, but they didn't have any money to take care of that. And that's where Frankie's friend stepped in. And the DeBarlos helped with making that possible. And one other one was, uh, was a, a soldier just returned from Afghanistan, and his dog, same thing, had a, an emergency happen, oh. wasn't going to be able to afford it, and Frankie's friends was able to step in and help that family uh, wow. save their animal. So. Wow. And I know that meant a lot to you as a veteran yourself. Absolutely. Anytime <laughs> that we can help uh, veterans out, it's, they give so much to our, our, everything that we do, everything we know here. Um, it's great to be able to help them out in return. Well, thank you for, uh, for what you did and for serving our country. We really uh, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, James, thank you for being here, Stephen. Thank you, and we'll see you at Eddie V's. It's going to be a great time at the Absolutely. White Party. And we're going to, of course, help support Frankie's friends as well. Coming up next, you're going to hear about a fabulous fall fundraiser known as the Eyeball. Stay with us. <laughs>